What is the main difference between a conversation with you and a conversation with an LLM? Conversations with you, with people, involve conversational context and conversational memory that lasts outside of the immediate moment. So in LLMs, you can pass in some context with the context window, of course, but how do you keep track of the context that you need for your conversation over a long period of time? That's where these things called convert, that's where this thing called conversational memory comes in. And Langchain offers a way to work with conversational memory using conversation chains. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can provide persistent storage to your conversation chains in Langchain using a vector store like Milvis. So for this example, we're just going to install these libraries. These are the libraries that I installed for this example, Langchain, Milvis, PyMilvis, Python.env, OpenAI. Uh, so Python.env I install for loading and managing my environment variables. OpenAI is for access to GPT. Uh, you know, Langchain also is access to GPT, but I put in my API key through OpenAI. And Milvis is the, you know, the server uh, for the vector database. PyMilvis is the client. Typically, um, you know, in this situation, what I use it for is managing utility uh, if I need to. So we're going to start, and I'm just going to import. I have the code pre-written here, so I'm just going to import some of this code for you, and we'll take a look at it and uh, understand why we're importing it, right? So OpenAI embeddings, these are the vector embeddings that we're going to use to represent our text. OpenAI itself is how we're going to access GPT from Langchain, right? These are the five Langchain imports that we're going to use. We're going to use a vector store retriever memory. So this is how we turn Milvis as a vector store into you know, the retriever, how we retrieve it, basically. Then we're going to use conversation chain. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is the framework or the object or the primitive, whatever you want to call it, that powers having this conversational memory. Then we're going to have prompt template, which is the basic way we interact with prompts in Langchain. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, load.env, which is from you know, python-.env, and we're going to use uh, OpenAI, and we're going to basically put our uh, API key into there. And so you can see that I called my AI key OpenAI API key. Uh, you can call yours whatever you would like. Uh, now we're going to do some typing here, and I'm going to import the default server from Milvis, and I'm going to start the, oops, I'm going to start the default server from Milvis. Oh, oh man. Okay, so now that we have Milvis started, we can um, move to kind of the rest of this. So I'm also going to import Milvis from Langchain, Langchain vector store. So I, I, I lied a little bit up there. We're actually gonna have six imports and this is the sixth one. And then we're gonna set our embeddings equal to the OpenAI embeddings. And um, this part is, uh, for what I was saying earlier is I'm actually going to drop the existing lane chain collection that I have going on right now in Milvis. Uh, and I'm going to use the PyMilvis utility to drop this. If you don't have a collection, this may not be something that's necessary for you. Okay, so now this is the important part that you should probably pay a little bit of attention to. So we're going to put our vector DB, we're going to instantiate our vector DB in um, lane chain. So Milvis, right, dot uh, from documents. So vector databases in link chain are instantiated from documents or from, oh, there's something else you can instantiate them from, what is it? From text. But in this case, we're gonna use documents and we're just gonna give it an empty doc store. Uh, and then we're gonna pass in the embeddings as our, you know, the opening eye embeddings. And then we're gonna give it the connection arguments. Connection args. Uh, so the host is gonna be localhost, 127.0.0.1. And the port is gonna be default server dot listen port. port. Cool. So this should spin up uh, Milvis as a vector database. Now we're going to spin it up as a retriever, the vector database as the retriever. So retriever. And this is basically how we're, you know, retrieving memory. Uh, Milvis oops, equals as retriever vector db search keyword args equals k equals one. So this just means we're searching for uh, the top one result. 
memory we'll set the vector store retriever memory with the retriever equal to the retriever we just created cool so that's basically how we set this up now we're going to set up this about me section where we're going to tell you know link chain let's pretend like i'm having an introductory conversation with you know somebody uh and this somebody is link chain and i'm just going to copy and paste this um Basically, what you want is you want to give a list of dictionaries in the form of input blank output blank and the input is what you say to the LLM and the output is what the LLM sets back to you. Now, obviously, this example that I've given is not really how an LLM would talk with you, um, but uh, it's also not how you would talk with an LLM. But this is to illustrate the example of conversational memory, right? This is to illustrate that the LLM can understand and remember the conversation. So for example, I'm going to tell it my favorite snack is chocolate, which is pretty true um, if you consider chocolate a snack. I just like eating chocolate, okay? Uh, and then my favorite sport is swimming. I was a year-round swimmer. Uh, my favorite beer is Guinness. Um, it's just good. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. I love cheesecake. And my favorite musician is Taylor Swift. Once I have this list of dictionaries of input outputs, I simply save this into uh, the memory the vector store retriever memory. And I use save context to save this information as context. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do a little brief query to show that it understands what's going on. So we're gonna have it print load memory variables and I'm gonna give it a prompt. Oops, prompt B, there we go, prompt. Uh, who is my favorite musician? Um, there we go. And we're going to check history. And it should say that my favorite musician is Taylor Swift. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So it found the answer and it found where is my favorite, who's my favorite musician. And it says the input that matches this query, which is broken down using embeddings is my, is Taylor Swift. Okay. So now let's get our model out. So let's actually access OpenAI, the LLM that we're going to access OpenAI. And we're going to give it a temperature of zero. We don't want it to make anything up. I don't want it to make anything up about me. Uh, and then we're going to give a template. So this is just default template. What? OK, so obviously it, when I put in these quotes, it thinks the first thing is going to be an arithmetic error. Um, so I'm going to say this is a, or here we go, the following exchange is a conversation, is a friendly conversation between a human and an AI. The AI is, let's see what did I say the AI was, talkative and provides lots of specific details from its context. The AI is talkative and provides a lot of specific details from its context. If the AI does not know the answer, if the AI does not know the answer into the question, it will truthfully say it does not know. Question, it will truthfully say it does not know. Relevant pieces of previous conversation. And we're going to pass this in as a history as a variable um, and then current conversation and human here's the input AI and this is where we ask uh, the, the LM to generate um, and then our prompt itself is going to be uh, is we're going to you know make a prompt template from this input variables and we know that that's going to be history and input um, and then the template that we're using is going to be this default template here. Okay, and now we're going to create a uh, conversation with summary so that, you know, we can say this is the kind of summary of the conversation so far. This is how conversation chain would handle this. Um, and this is because we may have a longer chain than we can actually fit into the context window. And we want to be able to summarize that chain if we need to. So let's call it conversation chain, or I'm just going to call it conversation chain. In the tutorial that I originally wrote, I called it conversation uh, with summary. 
Uh, and I will drop that below so you can read that as well. LM equals LM prompt equals prompt. Oops, prompt. Yep. Uh, memory equals memory. Um, okay, and then verbose equals true. Cool. True, true. Oh wow, this is a tough one. Okay, so that'll show us what the LM is thinking as we use it. And now we're gonna go and now we're gonna ask a question. We're gonna predict, we're gonna give an input, oops, input, and the input is gonna be, hi, my name is, uh, well, last time I used the name Gary, who's the name of the main antagonist in Pokemon. Uh, today we're gonna use the name of the main, let's use the name of the main protagonist in Let's just name, name the main protagonist in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. My name is Yugi Moto. Hi, Yugi Moto. It's nice to meet you. What do you like to do in your free time? Well, I'm not going to say anything here, um, but I'm going to ask it what my favorite memory is, or who my favorite musician is. Let's see. It should be able to get this, uh, and this should say conversation chain. Now, obviously, I'm not very friendly here. I'm being kind of rude. I'm ignoring the question entirely of what do you like to do in your free time? Um, but, you know, we're just testing this. You said your favorite musician, Taylor Swift. It knows, so it knows what's going on. All right, well, let's see if it knows about the, my favorite dessert, right? I've shown you the Taylor Swift thing twice. Let's see what else it knows. Ah, uh, that's because I am copying and pasting. Okay, here we go. You said your favorite dessert is cheesecake. Now let's see if it remembers one more thing. If it remembers my name, which I said earlier. And remember, today we are Yugi Moto. What is my name? Oh man, I should have made Beyonce or something. Is that one of her songs? What's my name? No, no whatever. I'm gonna find out who it is and next time we're gonna use that person as an example. Your name is Yugi Moto. Okay, cool. So this is basically it. This is what, uh, you know, this is how you add a conversational memory, memory chain. This is how you add a conversational memory chain to link chain so that your LLM has context of your conversations so far. And now I'm just going to clean up and stop my Milvis server. Um, because you should do this well at, at every time you you run something in your notebook that's temporary. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.